Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna share with you how to create a sticky header by using a simple JavaScript code. And let's create our header. So I'm gonna make a two section of header, and I'm gonna make a one of the section become sticky when the user scroll This is my top header. So I'm gonna make it blue and I'm gonna make all the text white. And let's change this to span. And let's add some address. Let's style our icon. If you heard the cat sound, that is my cat. He's just screaming outside my room. And let's add a main header. I'm gonna add some <coughs> logo. And let's add logo. And add a menu navigation. Flag. I'm gonna make the height, the width of the logo about 170 pixel. And we're gonna add a padding, just a little bit for top and bottom. one weight and let's add a border oops oh yeah a border here border bottom solid and okay, let's review right I'm gonna make the padding of uh, the menu more taller let's wait for the pixel top level menu and we're gonna add some padding by something like this This is looking good and we're gonna use this uh, JavaScript code which you can copy and paste from w3schools.com
have to copy all the code and paste it to the setting code of the break menu. Let's set custom code <coughs> here. So, uh, what this code do is when the user scroll. Uh, let's see. So when the user scroll, the horizontal scroll to the bottom of the the page, it will add class sticky to this section. To this section, and we're gonna uh, add style to our uh, sticky class name. Using this and just pass it something like this. <coughs> and I need the ID, the element ID of this section, and pass it to this. Right, just save settings. And let's reload. Oops. No, this is wrong. <laughs> I'm sorry this is wrong. It should uh, pass to the custom CSS tab. Let's save again. Okay, see. Now our main header is uh, become sticky, but we need to change the background color to white. And we're gonna add a Z index. So let's copy this and something like this Z index to maybe nine save settings and let's refresh. is wrong with my code let's fix it Set a setting again if you want to skip this tutorial uh, go ahead to the download link for a JSON file uh, in the description box below and see our main header becomes sticky now but since there is a admin tab here the black one so we're gonna add a new style or uh, become something like this admin bar and we're gonna change the top value to I need to know the height of this bar. It said uh, 32 pixel. Right. 32 pixel. And let's save setting. Okay. <coughs> right, and this is looking good. Now we're gonna add a new class. We're gonna make this padding top and the padding bottom of the <coughs> list of menu uh, become smaller than a 30 pixel 
and we're gonna just copy this and we're gonna copy this so uh, when the main header has a sticky class the padding top of the navigation link will become a 15 pixel Here. and see the padding top and the bottom has changed and to make it more fluid we're gonna add a transition transition uh, <coughs> maybe two seconds all Save setting and let's refresh. Oh, it's so slow. I need to make it faster. Let's add uh, zero point two second and let's refresh. Now it is looking better. Right? This this that's all. Uh it's, it's simple, right? You can customize oh whatever you like, whichever you like. And uh, you can download uh, the file on my github page and if you have any question suggestion uh, just write on the comment box below um, happy coding and thank you for watching